sometimes you just have to believe in the heart of the cards. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! battles. Now my turn has finally finished. And your trap card's out of the way. <laughs> for this list, we are only considering the best of the best from the second Yu-Gi-Oh! series, so fans of 5DS and GX will have to wait for another list. We also have to issue a spoiler alert for this one. I'll start things off if you don't mind by playing a magic card known as Guardian Treasure. Number 10, Yugi and Kaiba versus Darts. Darts. You are expecting someone else? This duel between series protagonists and Atlantean ruler Darts rounds out the Waking the Dragon story arc in a rather bleak way. Take my hand! Go while you can. If dueling for their souls wasn't enough, the fate of the world relies on the outcome. Darts is a formidable opponent, and Kaiba outshines Yugi with impressive moves. That is, until he loses his soul. It is then up to Yugi to destroy Darts once and for all, while saving the world at the same time. We could have worse odds. Don't screw up. Got it? I fought too hard, so you can't lose this. Now win! Ugh. I will. I promise. Number 9. Mind Controlled Joey vs. Yugi. I'll release your pathetic friends as soon as I get what I want. Sometimes, friends make the best enemies. Taking place during the middle of the Battle City arc, this duel pits Yugi and his best friend Joey, currently under the control of Merrick, in a duel to the death where the loser will be dragged to the depths. So the loser of this duel will be dragged to the bottom of the ocean? while the winner frees himself at the last minute. Marking Yugi's independent stance against Yami, this duel shows that while Yugi has much to learn, he is an expert duelist. I place this card face down, and then I shall summon my Karibo in attack mode and end my turn. This is the closest that Yu-Gi-Oh has acknowledged death as the result of a duel, so enjoy it while you can. I won't lose. Understand? I'll defeat you and free Joey from your control. Number eight. Joey versus My Valentine. You'll show her, Joey. Show her what it's like to duel from the heart. Duel. Welcome to the Duelist Kingdom. In Joey's first duel of the series, he is challenged by duelist My Valentine as a practice before challenging Yami Yugi. Joey needs to do this in order to gain more star chips and further himself in the tournament. My samurai sushi. Oh, card, speak to me. And I'll choose again without looking. Huh? How's she doing that? This duel sets the rules for duel monsters relatively early and offers the first instance of a character cheating in a duel. While Joey's warriors are outmatched by Mai's harpies, it is revealed that Mai coats her cards with perfume to memorize the order. And by smelling each different scent, you can tell which card is which even when they're face down. Uh, so you don't have to look in order to play your cards. That's actually kind of clever if you think about it. All right, Joey. Go get her, Joey. You're the man. Yugi, you were right. Just because you saw through my little psychic act doesn't mean you're going to be able to defeat me in a duel. Number seven, Yugi versus Kaiba. Battle City Semi-Finals. Well, well, Yugi, so you decided to show up after all. Of course, to miss this duel is to deny my destiny. As series rivals, there was no way we could leave their duel off the list. Rounding out the semi-finals of Battle City, Yugi and Kaiba square off in a hologram of the Roman Coliseum. Explain! I just want to take you down in style, Yugi. So observe. Welcome to Duelist Colosseum! This is the perfect setting for the monumental clash between two Egyptian god cards, Kaiba's Obelisk and Yugi's Slifer. Aren't those two of the three Egyptian god cards? Yup, and it looks like they're about to brawl. Partway through the duel, the duelists are even treated to a vision of a past duel between Pharaoh and his high priest. Needless to say, the stakes are high. While Yugi eventually comes out on top, this is one duel that built the suspense up until the end. This is it! If I don't draw the right card now, I'll lose to Kaiba and be eliminated from the tournament! Number 6. Merrick vs. Joey, Battle City Semi-Finals Merrick will begin! As you wish. I play Gilgarth in attack mode! Our next entry shows just how far a duelist can come from their first duel. Taking on Yami Merrick after he sends Mai to the Shadow Realm in the previous duel, Joey is forced to deal with shadow game rules of his own. I know where this is going. <gasps> I 
was afraid Merrick would do this! Merrick attaches metaphorical strings between the duelists and each monster, resulting in physical pain when a monster is defeated. Destroy his alligator's sword and drain his energy! Showing some expert dueling from Joey, as he is able to unravel Merrick's scheme, it is not enough as he collapses but is still able to keep from losing his mind to the Shadow Realm. You can't keep me down. Not as long as I have something to fight for! Activate Rocket Warrior's special ability! Invincible Mode! Number 5. Kaiba and Yugi vs. Noah Tell him, Moki! Give Kaiba Corp to Noah now! <sighs> I don't believe it! It's time for a duel, for possession of Kaiba Corps, that is. Trapped in a virtual world by the infamous Noah, Kaiba is challenged for control via a brainwashed Mokuba. I am the only one in this world you can trust, Mokuba. What makes this duel interesting is that the setup of each deck eerily resembles each of the duelists. Whether this be Kaiba's pride or the power of Noah's fixation on the past, it doesn't prevent Kaiba's loss to the latter. Ah! No! My job is now complete. Kaiba! Mokuba! While initially the duel begins between Kaiba and Noah, Yugi steps in and destroys Noah with a six-card combination. Even in a virtual world, you can't beat the king of games. Now I shall activate the magic card, Swords of Revealing Light! Number 4. Atem and Yugi vs. Raphael You ought to be thanking me, Pharaoh. I just gave you a head start. Not many contenders can take on the king of games, let alone the Pharaoh. But our next entry is an exception. This duel earns its place as the darkest battle during the Waking the Dragon arc. What's wrong? Are you jealous because the seal of Orichalcos resides with me now? And it's your soul that's on the line this time? With Atem fighting against swordsman Raphael, this fight is suspense at its finest, with Yugi's soul being locked away and Atem becoming consumed by his inner rage and fear of losing. Raphael is one of few characters to earn the honor of defeating Atem, so you know the risks before you challenge him. Adios, your highness. Number 3. Yugi vs. Pegasus Duelist Kingdom Finals Go ahead and make your move, Yugi boy. <laughs> of course, it's not like I don't already know what it is. You know you're the king of games when you surpass the game's creator. In the final major duel of the Duelist Kingdom Arch, audiences are finally able to see the first battle of the millenniums, particularly Yugi's puzzle and Pegasus's eye. <laughs> <laughs> While the duel seems one-sided from the beginning, since Pegasus can read Yugi's cards and anticipate his moves with his cheating eye, Yugi is able to shuffle his thoughts and keep his opponents at bay until he's victorious. So what do you do if your opponent is cheating? Play like a god. And now that your monster's transfixing gaze has been broken, my Chaos Mage is free! And you, Pegasus, are through! <gasps> Number 2. Yugi vs. Merrick Battle City Final <laughs> Yes! Shuffle well, Pharaoh! Egyptian god cards dueling for the fate of the world? Yeah, we're down with that. The final confrontation between Yugi and Battle City antagonist Merrick. This duel has some memorable plays, as well as the first time all three Egyptian god cards are in play. No! Stop! Call these creatures off right now! Once the Shadow Game rules are introduced, emotions and suspense run high until the duel's miracle conclusion. Not only a satisfying duel, but a satisfying conclusion to a fantastic arc. Friend Sanctuary, anyone? If you do this, you'll be sorry! You need me! Be gone! I surrender this duel to the Pharaoh! No! It's finally over, my Pharaoh! Before we duel with our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It won't surprise me. I know your cards by heart. True. You'll also know it's my favorite. We promise your luck's about to run out. Fine, but in the meantime, it's Joey's turn. Right. Okay, Yugi started our comeback. Now I gotta keep it going. Thanks to this card, they've added a second performance. Oh no. Oh yes. Time for an encore. So why don't you just sit back and enjoy the show? All right, Mai. I'm playing the petite angel in attack mode. I play Harpy Lady, attack mode! Gendora, the Dragon of Destruction! But how? I had the perfect strategy! It was good, but not perfect! <laughs> 
because although your zombies almost wiped out my deck, I found a card that can stop them. But how? You are down to your last card. Number one, Yugi versus Atem. I guess we're about to find out who the true king of games is. The final battle that everyone was waiting for. Aptly named this ceremonial duel, it serves as Atem's final battle before his spirit passes on. And it's all for the best, but it doesn't seem fair. I mean, I feel like we were all just getting to know you! The battle also mixes the blend of nostalgia and the unknown future, reflected by the cards in the duelists' decks. But I'm not done yet! Next I play Pot of Greed! This allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them to my hand! Not only do we see many fan-favorite cards return, such as the Dark Magician, Summon Skull, and all three Egyptian God cards, but this battle gives audiences glimpses of the future. By far the most evenly matched in the series, this duel takes its rightful place in our top spot. Congratulations. Well done. Yugi, a champion doesn't belong on his knees. You achieved a great victory for us both. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! duel? What were you geeks expecting? Fireworks, sappy music, something. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's over! <laughs>